In this video, we're going to take a look at how to name carboxylic acids as well as esters. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start with carboxylic acids and carboxylic acids have the general name of alkane. So that's the alkane name with the E ending dropped and it ends in oic acid. So if you remember, these are the type that have the carboxyl functional group. They have a C double bonded to O and then bonded to an OH. Um, now, this always ends up having to be at the end of a carbon chain. So the carbon is always in the carboxyl group is always given the number one. And this is prioritized. And you do not need to include the numbers in the name because they are always at carbon one. We prioritize this in the naming. And so it becomes redundant if you include the number in the name. Finally, the general formula is CN, H2N, and then O2. This differs just by one oxygen. So if, uh, from the aldehydes and the ketones, if you remember, they were CN, H2N, and O. Um, so that's another way for you to come up with general formulas of various different carboxylic acids. So let's take a look at some examples. Now, sort of the first thing we're doing is we're recognizing that we have a carboxyl group here. So this is a carboxylic acid. We need the longest chain that includes this carbon. So one, two, three, and Really, all we're doing with this one here, since it's nice and easy, is we're going to take the three carbon name propane, drop the E, and put on oic acid. So this is propanoic acid. Now, you may see this condensed down in textbooks, so sometimes you might see it written all in one line, and it can be written as CH3, CH2, and then carboxylic acids are usually written as COOH. Okay, so if you see a COOH, it means that you have a carboxylic acid. Okay, one more example here is we again have a carboxylic acid because we're recognizing our functional group. We need to include this carbon in the main chain. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Um, and it doesn't didn't matter if we went up or down there. So we also have a couple of methyl groups attached here. And we are going to need to number and name those. And uh, numbering our main carbon chain, we start with the carboxyl group. So one, two, three, and four, which means we have two and three methyl groups. So we're going to go two, three, dimethyl. And then we've got a butyn oic acid. Okay. Last example for carboxylic acids. Uh, sometimes you can have a couple of carboxylic acids. So you can see here we've got one here and one here, and our main chain including them is four carbons long. So the name does change slightly here, and uh, this one would become butane and then dioic acid. So we're indicating that there are two uh, carboxylic acids, one at either end of the molecule. Now naming esters is a slightly different than anything else we've seen because they're formed by a reaction between two classes of molecules, carboxylic acids and alcohols. Uh, so they're gonna take the general name of alkyl and the alkyl will belong to the alcohol side of the uh, group and then the alkanoate is the second part of the name, and that belongs to more of the carboxylic uh, acid side of the molecule. You'll see what I mean when we do a couple of examples here. Now, in terms of numbering, for the acid sort of side of the molecule, it'll start from the carbonyl group, and then from the alcohol derivative, it's gonna start from the oxygen, or the oxygen joined to the next carbon. Uh, so again, you'll see what I mean as we do a couple of examples here. So let's look at our first example. First, we need to recognize we have an ester. And we know we have an ester because we've got a carbonyl group here. 
and it's not a ketone because it's attached to an oxygen on one side. All right, now the oxygen side is our alcohol derivative. So this is the side that's derived from the alcohol, and then the other side that's attached to the carbonyl is derived from our carboxylic acid. So our rules say that we're going to name the alcohol derivative first. So we have a methyl here. So this is gonna be methyl. And then we have two carbons in the carboxylic acid side. So this is going to become ethan. And then we change the ending to O8. So this is a methyl ethanoate. Now, occasionally you'll see this uh, condensed down in textbooks too, and it looks kind of funky, but um, I'm actually going to write it from the carboxylic acid side first. We'd have a CH3, and then it'd have COO, CH3. So the COO here indicates an ester. Uh, and you may see that occasionally. Just again, it's easier to type this in a line than to draw this out, uh, so sometimes they use condensed formats like that. Okay, so our next example, again, recognizing we have an ester, and let's go, our alcohol derivative is off to this side, and we have two groups here, two carbons, and then our other side, we've got one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, and we have a methyl group attached, okay? So um, when it comes to things attached in esters, we name it on the part of the molecule where it's attached to. So because it's attached to the carboxylic acid side and not to the alcohol side, we're gonna name the alcohol part first, which is an ethyl. And then we're gonna add this substituent on here. So we got one, two, three. So this is going to be a two methyl and uh, three carbons, so a propanoate. Okay, if there was a methyl group on the alcohol side, it would come in the front of the name here. Uh, so let's look at one more example. Again, recognizing this is an ester and our alcohol derivative is over here. We got three carbons long that's attached to that. And then the other side has two carbons. And then we have a methyl group attached here. Now, it is four carbons long, but we do want to stick with uh, going from the oxygen and our longest continuous chain. So if we're going from there, then uh, this CH3 that's attached over here becomes a substituent. It's on the alcohol side this time, so we're gonna call this, uh, we're numbering one, two, three, so this is a one methyl, one methyl, and then that's a propyl. And the other side, two carbons, is an ethanoate. Okay, so that's some um, great examples of how to name carboxylic acids as well as esters. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.